So, the legacy of the Sith expansion is just a few months, maybe even a few weeks, away from launching. And always at these different benchmarks, whether it be the end of the year, I see videos, is SOTOR worth returning to in 2021 or 2020, you know? And the answer to that, of course, always is yes. And Bioware seems to share that sentiment. Um, an article posted by PC Gamer shows that Bioware has no plans to end Star Wars The Old Republic anytime soon. I'll put a link in the description if you want to read it, it's not too long. The article goes into detail of how they had interviewed the creative director of SOTOR, Charles Boyd, um, about the 10 year anniversary. The author of the article actually hoped that he'd say that um, it was coming to an end soon because he wanted a sequel to SOTOR. Uh, I kind of admit the graphics are getting a bit, you know, the new character models, <sighs> They're not the not the greatest, I'll say that, but it's it's not too bad. I don't really care about graphics as much as these people who are buying a thousand dollar graphics cards anyway. So I can I can deal with these graphics. But alas, the team has said they have no plans to stop anytime soon. I'm actually really happy to hear that they don't want to stop anytime soon, though. Even though I would like a little bit better graphics, I have spent so much time into my account. Not really money, I've just subscribed a few times, but I've put hundreds of hours into my account, and I just hate to see that go down the drain. Like, I'm glad I didn't play Star Wars Galaxies when it shut down, because that would have been hard to say goodbye to. The next section of the article just talks about, uh, the title is Where Sotor Goes From Here, and the interviewer says that he, he'd like to have it like in the main stories where there was eight specific stories and then in the expansions it kind of had one story like for Knights of the Fallen Empire there was just either Republic or Empire path actually it was kind of just one path of being the Alliance commander but um yeah the uh the creative director just said that it would be a bit too much work to have eight different directions in an expansion so so we probably won't see, be seeing that for the expansions. Now we've talked about how the devs feel about the game, how they, they want to keep it going, keep the story rolling, but with the combat changes, everybody's kind of on edge about them. Um, if I remember, I'll put a poll on screen that shows how people think about the changes, and it's, it's saying a lot. I mean, it has 350 votes on the poll. As you can see, it says a lot of people more people don't like them than do like them, and that's not that's not great for the game, believe it or not, you know. So although the devs might be working on this game far into the future, I don't know how much the players will, because every time I look on Twitch, the most people I see are playing PvP, um, and that's kind of what they're changing a lot of in this new expansion, like the move sets for each person, uh, they're kind of changing everything up a ton. And if they change that in a bad way, that's a large chunk of their player base just going to a better game for combat, you know. I just, I just hope they don't ruin it in that way. So they have a, they have a solid system going right now. Um, I really don't hate it at all right now. I like it, I like how it is. And I just really don't want them to mess it up. Because I do want to see them make a lot more expansion in the future. Like, the first time I saw the game, I was like, that'd be crazy if, like, because, like, um, the game started out with 50 levels. And then I, I thought it would be crazy if you could go all the way up to 100 levels one day. I've seen in other MMOs, um, I've seen a bunch of other MMOs, and their level cap is 100. That just seems like such a solid level cap. I know it's just a visual thing, but still, I mean, it seems like a lot of the stories are coming full circle. Like, Malgus was brought in at level 50, pretty much, and he's just going full circle at level 80 now, so... I think they got time for either like one or two more major stories like they did with Knights of the Fallen Empire. Or they could um, do four mini stories like the Shadow of Revan ones. Or just make however many more expansions they want. I, I'm going to be honest, I kind of doubt that it'll be another 10 years. But it, it might happen. I mean, the game's not dead by any means, okay? I'm not trying to... Uh, my earlier comments were not meant to say that this game is dead. I was saying that the new combat changes would be pretty bad for the game, but it is definitely not a dead game right now, so. The last thing I wanted to kind of touch on, uh, just barely, because I don't know much about the technical side of this game, but, like, I don't know if they can upgrade <laughs> the graphics engine or whatever to make it 
look better, or if they have to make an entirely new game to do that. But if they can do that, that would fix a lot of the problems that we have with the graphics right now. It would make a few people with the really old computers sad because they can't play it. Like, uh, my computer's not the best, I'll be honest with you. It's the graphics card shortage hits hard, man. But if they can change game engines or whatever the frick that is and make it look better visually, I think that'd be a good move. But anyways, that's all to this rant. I didn't have too much to say, but if you want to see more videos like this or anything so laid, subscribe, uh, like the video too if you want. I got the Twitch in the description. And thanks for watching.